Hi there folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts, Tracy and Matt.co.uk and forumboxings.com and I'm taking a look today at this Tron Smart Wi-Fi Full HD 1080p dongle for your TV. This is a bit like a Chromecast, only it's not a Chromecast. So uh, it's got a, a Wi-Fi AV transfer EZ mirror, mirror cast. Yeah, okay, we'll get straight into it. You can find it here at this QR code. On the back it says, it runs Linux, it's got full HD 1080p, it's compatible with Android, iOS, Mac and OS, or Mac and Windows, uh, EZ mirror. You download the app from various stores, HDMI 1.4, USB host LED, and software upgrade made in China. Okay, so if we open her up, this is the first time I've actually opened it, so hopefully everything's in here. Right, came from China, so the packaging's a bit battered. Right, so this is the actual dongle itself. On the back here we have a micro USB, we have a light, we have the HDMI on the front, and what looks like a speaker on the back, but it could be a vent. Not that it's got a fan or anything, but maybe just for heat dissipation anyway. And it says Tronsmart there, mirror to TV. This is a, a Wi-Fi dongle. So Wi-Fi isn't actually built into this. You have to plug this into it to get Wi-Fi. But I suppose that can be quite good because this is like a Wi-Fi aerial. Uh, I know the Chromecast can have problems picking up Wi-Fi, so this will extend the aerial greatly. Micro USB to go in here, and a USB as well. So we'll look and see what way that's connected. Right, so we have micro USB in a junction point, then it fires off out to USB and Wi-Fi. So we can plug that into our TV to power the whole thing up, and this one goes off to pick up the Wi-Fi signal. Also in here we have a user manual, which is printed in English, always handy. There appears to be an interface on this as well, which is quite nice. Okay, and that's the Android application. And what is this? Small tips from technical support with a pretty flower around here. There's a QR code for you, if you fancy it. Dear valued customer, thank you. Right, okay, let's go and hook this up to the TV and see what happens. Oops. Let's go and hook this up to the TV and see what happens. Okay, so here we are in round the back of the TV, seeing what happened. Here's the Miracast with the USB, and we have unplugged the beloved Chromecast. And we'll hold the Chromecast up so you can get an idea of just the size of the two together. They're roughly the same. Okay, so here we are with the Miracast. It's been plugged into the TV. And this is the display we have when we switch to that particular source. I'll just adjust the framing so you can see the top of the TV as well. Do apologise. Okay, um, the first problem I had, well, I suppose I see the QR code here. I decided to try and get the application installed beforehand. However, I wasn't able to find one that had Mirror 2 TV on it, or Miracast, or the, what's it called, the Tron, 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 Tron thing, Tron Smart T1000. None of those came up in the, the Play Store with an obvious application. However, I can see it there. It says EZ Cast, and there's the EZ Cast Pro app that I downloaded. It doesn't cost anything, it's free, despite the fact it says Pro. You can see down there there's another one as well called EZ Cast Screen With and EZ Cast. Don't exactly know what the difference is, although I'm noticing that says EZ Cast 2. Well, at any rate, I'm using EZ Cast Pro, so if that doesn't work, then we'll move on to something else. Right, so we've got step one there. Step two, Tron Smart 330888. A, which much, it must be its nickname for the kids in the hood, uh, and then three shows you the TV. 
So I'm going to try and open the application here and see what happens. I'm using the Nexus 10 here as it's larger than a phone and it works in Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Right, so we'll try EZ Cast. And it's searching for devices. No devices found. So I would somehow need to be able to set this up on the wireless network because it hasn't asked me to do that. Okay, so that EZ Pro managed to crash out my tablet quite considerably uh, and I've scanned the QR code and it's recommending I install this EZCast2 thing here so we're doing that it's now installing okay so we're installing we have a slightly different aspect here it does seem to be showing that it might have picked up the EZCast we'll hit that see if it selects a device Go on, you can do it. Aha, it has found the Transmart. Okay, oh, we have uh, we have action on the screen here. And we have a remote control on there. And there's Facebook as well. Okay, so we can set it up onto our wireless network. That appears to be working now. And we have an upgrade, so we'll do that. There is something about this that makes me feel a little more reassured than with the Chromecast. Whilst I love the Chromecast, I hate the fact that it doesn't have a front end that is anything more than what's on the screen of your tablet or phone. It's nicer to be able to interact with something on screen. So you, you kind of know where you're going. There's there's settings that can be meddled with. There's factors that can be manipulated. Whereas the Chromecast, you're, you're kind of stuck. You, if you see it on the screen and it's not connected in some way, there's very little you can do short of unplugging and restarting. Whereas I'm liking this in that there is stuff to fiddle around with. And we get a welcome bing bong. Okay, so we're refreshing uh, the tablet to see if we can find it. Hopefully the upgrade hasn't spoiled everything. That's doing this. Hello. And of course that is the on-screen um, remote control that we have, key, escape, up, down, left, right, OK, and Facebook. Right, so we have we can play with the resolution. What can we select here? We can go down. So we've got 60p. I'm, I'm hoping that's 60 frames per second. 24, 30. Well, we'll go for the full 30. Why not? Password. We'll leave that as is. Internet is connected to my Wi-Fi. Language is auto. Default mode. EZ cast. EZ mirror. Okay, so that would be for throwing things over to it or for mirroring the screen. I'm going to dare to press OK on that. Set boot default to mirror. Uh, maybe no, actually. We'll just leave it as it is. And upgrade. Okay, I'm pressing the Facebook button on the application. Would you like to access your public profile and friend list? Okay. Right, well that hasn't done too much. Right, we're going to change the mirror anyway. Okay, uh, that seems to be it set up. And we'll go back to this where we have the EZ cast. So 
we have some options down at the bottom here. There's DLNA, EZ Mirror and Settings. Then up here we have Photo, Camera, Music, Video Cloud, Cloud Storage, Live. Over this side we have Video, Document, Web, Comment, Update and Social. I'll go through each of them one at a time along the top row, middle row and then the very bottom. See if you can hold on to your pants while I do this. Okay, we're hitting photo. Happy casting. Uh, I'll open up the... it's actually showing me my camera roll. I'll open up a picture and it appears on the screen. My little tyke and me. Okay, so it doesn't show you your gallery which is quite good. That was a picture that was sent to me of reading a story to the little man. Right, so that worked very easily. We're going to go to camera next. Happy casting. And there's the camera. And I'm going to switch it around to selfie camera. Hi. Hey, hey. Back to the floor. And we'll hit back again. And that takes us back to the EZ cast and we'll go with music. I don't know if I have any music on this. I don't have any music on this but it's showing me a playlist and some basic controls. Okay, video next. Los invito a que me acompañen en un paseo espectacular por la hermosa isla de San Andrés donde tomamos las fotos del calendario. Okay, that's enough of that. That's uh, Sofia Vergara. Um, <clears throat> just the, the one video that I happen to have knocking about. Okay, uh, next up, documents. We can throw across a document to here. Uh, I'll see if I have something... I, I can't find any PDFs that I happen to have on this uh, tablet that I can display. Well, okay. Web. This allows us to bring up a web page. So we'll have a look at www.tracy and matt.co.uk. Not the fastest rendering in the world through this web browser. But not completely unusable. Uh, next up is cloud video. Right, so we can play YouTube Vimigo Video Jug Video Bash. If I click those dot dot dot, we can select more. A bit of Chinese up at the top right there. Uh, news video, sports, highlights bookmarks okay cloud storage so this is where we connect up our Dropbox and it shows a file a video or a file explorer and we'll go in and we'll play back a, a video and see how well this plays Los invito a que me acompañen en un paseo espectacular por la hermosa isla de San Andrés. Not bad. The video quality of that video is very poor. It's, uh, it's a VHS rip. Uh, so uh, I guess if I had, a, had been more prepared, I could have had uh, HD all set up. Let's go for live and see what we see on live. Again, a show, we'll try a YouTube live. I'm sure there's something broadcasting. Tomorrowland is live now. All right, okay, so that brings up YouTube. <laughs> And a bit loud. However, it's fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Very impressed. And next up, comment. So this takes us to a allows us to comment is that 
I don't know why that's going. Happy casting. We release the Windows 8 point or Windows Phone 8.1 the EZ app, so we can send a comment back t uh, to the people who make this device. Maybe we'll do that later. Hit update. Shows us what there is in the new update. Um, for that's the for the app as opposed to the 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 Miracast itself. And then social brings up Tumblr, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. Okay, so that brings up our Twitter feed. Connect and that kind of stuff. F fairly basic, but but still something that's uh, certainly usable by some. Okay. Now I will go down, nope, it's back to there. Take us back to the front. Let's try DLNA. And it's showing here that there's no DLNA app found on the phone. Okay, which we do have EZ Mirror. Okay, EZ Mirror displays. Resolution is decided by the smartphone tablet. If EZ Mirror connection fails above twice, please restart your smartphone. Press the on button. Okay, so we're now connecting the tablet to the Wi-Fi as opposed to an ad hoc connection. We'll go back. On here we can see it's Tuning in, trying to find the device. No device is found. Okay, well that was fairly unsuccessful. It seemed to be some form of conflict on the wireless network where it kicked the tablet off whenever the Mirror 2 TV connected to the wireless network to receive the communication. They're both operating on the same wireless network, so I don't know why it's having a problem. We'll have another go. Hit on. And for some reason it's showing my wireless network as disabled. But if we click the Tron Smart and connect, we don't have that option, okay? So the screen cast Cast screen doesn't exactly work very well on here unless I'm missing something somewhere along the lines, but I don't want to keep you guys hanging around whilst I'm trying to find it. Okay, well, for the, for the most part, this seems to be a pretty darn decent uh, piece of hardware to have. It's a, it's a good alternative to the Chromecast and to various more uh, expensive offerings from the likes of from Belkin and things like that. I'll put a neat link in the show notes and you can check it out. Uh, but for now, I'm going to have another play with this and see if I can watch some movies back and maybe enjoy that Sofia Vergara video a little more. All right, take care now.
Hi there, folks. Gareth here. For Hi there, folks. Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts, TracyMatt.co.uk, and of course, Unboxings.com. And we're going to do the obligatory benchmarking challenge. Okay, so we have the LG G3 here and the Samsung Galaxy S5. The LG G3 looking a wee bit dark. We'll turn the brightness up so you can see it a little better. Okay, so we're going to run it on Quadrant first and then a 2.2 afterwards and see how these two flagship phones fare. Okay, so we have the results here, and I'm going to just zoom in a little so you can see it. Oh, whoops, sorry. There we go with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 scoring 22,644. The LG G3 scoring 21,918. Hmm, okay, so I, I actually had my money actually on the G3 being slightly faster. They both have two gigabytes of RAM. This is the 16 gigabyte version here on the LG G3, and obviously the Samsung Galaxy S5 has three gigabytes of RAM or two gigabytes of RAM as well. So we'll have a go at a tutu and see how it goes. Okay, so we'll hit test and test, test and test.
Okay, so the outlook of that is a bit bleak for the LG G3. There it is there under the LG G2, a different phone, the Note 3, the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8. On here we've got the, uh, the S5, faring a little worse than what the standard is for the S5, the HTC One M8, the LG G2 there. Okay, so well, that's a bit of a fairly smoking gun of an outcome. Uh, poor old LG G3 just seemed, can't seem to keep up. However, there was an update last night that was for optimization. Um, I would do wonder what the score would have been beforehand, the score on here being 34,209 as opposed to 31,420. Obviously that's uh, ideal kind of benchmarking of things and the Samsung <clears throat> can manipulate itself so that it'll, it'll put all its power into running a benchmarking utility, but you know, I don't see that as cheating. That's uh, showing off the raw power that's in here. Obviously the LG's got stuff that's running in the background that uh, keeps things um, a bit slower than the rest, whereas maybe Samsung are turning off the whole touch UI uh, during a benchmarking session because it detects it. However, they're obviously you're not going to notice the difference on day-to-day -day life. Uh, obviously the three gigabyte version of this will probably kick the ass off this once uh, once it's out and about. And hopefully we'll get a, a look at it in the near future. It's funny that the HTC One M8 is still top of the pops there on those uh, benchmarking scores. But uh, as, I, as always, check out the channel for more unboxings and comparisons and things like that uh, in the future. And uh, take care now. We'll speak to you soon.